it's absolutely freezing let me tell you it's gone down to minus three and in some areas of the uk there's snow yeah it's gone mental and it's quite strong wind as well a bit breezy i've just been to the post office and got back now and the wind was oh it's bitey anyway so what i'm going to do is going to use the time now whilst it's quite bright because it is bright when that sun does come through there's a little bit of warmth but phew, it's cold i'm going to get some sticks i've got quite a few bags of coal on my roof and my fire's in at the moment but if the fire happens to go out one night when I'm not up early enough to fettle it, then um, I'm going to need some sticks to get it going and I've got no sticks left. So that's what we're going to do. A delight to be had here. Oh, this is great. See why pay for kindling when you could just nab it? Got loads. Ow, yeah. um, loads here. I don't ever break it off the uh, trees, I just take what's already dropped from about quite a few storms. There's loads. Nice and dry as well. So as it's snowing, even though it's quite fine, I'm just going to show you this new toy my dad got me. Look at this, how ace is this? So I'm going to give this a try out now on here. So how ace is that? Something really rewarding about getting all your, your own sticks and bits of log. Absolutely fantastic. What a great gadget. I don't know, actually know what it's called, but my dad wouldn't trust me with the chainsaw. <laughs> um, but he said I could have this. So it's brilliant. So it's just enough because anything bigger than that, and it doesn't really fit on the stove anyway. So yeah, love it. <laughs> New toy. So that's not bad is it so that'll keep me nice and toasty warm for the next few days so even though it's bright outside now it is bitterly cold we've done our foraging so now i'm going to get myself a curry on the go i cheat a little bit because i'm an absolutely terrible cook i've used a jar of sauce and i've put in some potatoes some cauliflower just what i had left over because i want it to last me days because i'm a crap cook i want to have to keep doing it and um i'm going to throw a load of this stuff in curry on there what are they going to taste like crap? I don't know how many. Crust chilies. Oh, I like it hot. We like it spicy. And some extra flavouring. Oh, give it too much. So it's a gel frazy sauce, the base. And then I'm just lobbing whatever in there. So I am using my Mr. D's thermal cooker. I know lots of boat vloggers have got them. I've had mine since 2014 and it is the most used kitchen gadget that I've got. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, apart from my cafetiere, I use that all the time. Um, it's brilliant because you just throw everything in it, leave it boiling for 15 minutes or so, and then you just shut the lid on it and then it carries on cooking all day long. So it uses no power at all. So it's great for people that are actually crap like me at cooking. Well, it's great for everyone, but um, yeah, for me, one pot stuff, it's it's ideal. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Mmm. Any tips on thickening it up though? It's a bit watery, I've added too much water. It'll be all right, we'll have, we'll have curry soup. Uh. So once it's been bubbling for a while, just lob it into the Mr. D's itself, shut the lid and leave it there for however long and it cooks and that'll be my tea later. So guys, it's one degree today, one degree. Yes, absolutely freezing. Got nipples like football studs. I mean, it's lovely and warm in the boat, but out there, whew, 
it's cold <laughs> but i need to move because i'm on a 48 hour mooring now between the end of october and the end of march all 48 hours go to 14 days but we're in april now so they're all back to 48 hours so yeah i've been here 48 hours so let's crack on so I've just gone to go outside my boat and uh, found these on my roof. How lovely is that? Some lovely leaflets from the Hollingwood Canal Society with lots of little stories and little pictures and everything in there. So I'm going to have a good read of that later. And also some of this. I don't know what it is. It's a special honeyed slow gin. Oh, God, I'm going to love that. <laughs> hey, how fantastic, eh? I think everyone thinks I'm an alcoholic. I'll never say no to booze. Love it. My favourite thing. Yeah, so thank you so much, Ian. Sorry I didn't get a chance to meet you. But yeah, so I'm going to really enjoy this when I get home late. <laughs> In fact, I might save it. I might save this and have this on the towpath on a lovely day. But today it's drizzly, cold and freezing. Nipples. Mm. Yes, but yeah, so thank you, Ian. I'm off guys, it's a lovely lovely bright day but bloody hell it's cold, it is cold and we're in April now What's this lady shouting at? I know, I hate it! What's horrible is duck rape. It's horrendous. I've seen it year after year. You see so many dead female ducks. Because that, that incident there, that woman was screaming. I don't know if the camera picked it up. But there's like five boys on a girl. Proper giving her one. And um, they drown them. Because it's all on her, you know, they get drowned. So yes, yeah, so I really felt sorry for that female duck. I mean, she survived that then, but till how long? Yes, you don't want to come back as a duck. No drink boat, no nothing, just straight in there. Not a good, not a good way <laughs> to die. Oh. Anyway, I'll try and get some footage of something to show you what I'm on about. So I had a fabulous night in the pub last night with Sue and Jeff. They got me absolutely hammered and I don't drink normally. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and uh, they've led me astray today, unfortunately. Um, but it was a great night. They've left already this morning. It took me ages to get myself together. Um, but I'm on my way now, and that's the main thing, isn't it? Gosh. But yeah, oh, sore head today. I was on Desperados, which is like lager and tequila. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, sore head. Got a boat coming. Air of the dog, best cure for an hangover. Cheers, have a good day. <laughs> so lovely to see little pudding the other day. Um, we're sort of co-parenting at the moment. So it's so many days with Jackie, so many days with me when she can bring them across because he's on these new tablets now and he's back and two to the vets for his pee samples and stuff it's majority obviously with Jackie yeah but he loves boating <laughs> he absolutely loves it but he's not well at the moment so we've got to think about his best interests but it was so lovely seeing him she's going to bring him over again next week said he's dropped the tablets now to from three to two a day and he's loads better so yeah it's just trying to find the best thing for him that's where a lot of pudding's up to. Bless him. Oh, I don't half miss him. I miss everything. I miss his snoring, his smells, his trumps, everything. Oh. When I get to the Peak Forest, which I don't think I'll get today because I'm not going far, but once I get there, you can actually do the Peak Forest in one long day. But it's so beautiful and in the past I've raced up and down that in a day and never appreciated it because I've tried to get to a festival or an event and what I'm going to do when, once we get onto the Peak Forest is I am just <laughs> taking my time. I am going to stop, more up, go exploring, all sorts of things. I'm not going to rush anymore.
So guys, it looks like I've made it to Marple. Um, I'm going to find somewhere to moor in a minute. I want somewhere where I get sunlight because the brilliant thing about these lithiums is I've not had to run my engine well for the last three weeks. It's been absolutely fantastic. Obviously, when I'm cruising, my engine's on, but I've not had to because I've been getting so much solar because the good thing about the lithiums is it gobbles up everything it can take. So just having a few hours of solar a day, even on a dull day, when it's gone bright for a few hours, it's charged me up. It's been fantastic. I am really loving that lithium setup. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've got to try and find somewhere now where I can make the best of what sun we get. I just want to give a big shout out to my two new Patreons, Matt and Gadget. Welcome aboard guys and thank you for your support. Boat coming. Now I've just come through this really narrow gap and as I was coming through I went to move over to the right to allow this gentleman that's coming on his boat and he's shouting at me, be careful, be careful there's something in the water. So I couldn't really see because you can hardly see anything when it's low down but there's um, an obstruction there's like three big stumps in the water that have been there I don't know how long but there's no sign at eye level so it's quite difficult to navigate which didn't give this poor chap much room unfortunately but I'll just show you them now as you can see there was no way I could have moved over because they were keeping the boat to the side but how many boats have not seen that if it wasn't for that lovely gentleman I would have smacked into that so I couldn't cheer then because I was trying to navigate around some stumps and stuff but so let's uh, just cheer that boat now lovely couple on it but hey cheers to you guys I'm on a moor here now When I'm more up, I always have to go along and do a dog poo sweep. Look at that, disgusting. Talking of disgusting, here's my tea for the second night in a row. Oh, we will be watery mess. And I'm gonna have it with these wraps because I had the rice last night. And then I'm gonna get this back in the fridge because it's gonna last me probably another two days. Oh, the joys. So guys, that's the cruise done, uh, dinner done. Um, so I'm not going to wash the taste away now with that black spice rum. I'm loving that, you know, that dead man's fingers rum. Oh, it's a good one. So cheers. So if you have liked this video, please give it a like. Oh, it's nice that. Subscribe if you haven't already and press the bell end to receive notifications when I release a new one, which is every Thursday at six at the moment. If I can keep up with it all, it takes me ages. Anyway that's it so please take care i'll see you next time and before i go a big shout out to this week's pirate crew and here they are my heart is in my favorite pirate voice maverick and mouse paul woolrich fishless clive mike attorney ralph wood david van wart sparky and leslie gadget thank you gadget jim who i met on the towpath hello jim Alan Harbit, Norman Laura Vandal Handel, Stephen Brody, Colin and Heather from Ohio who are getting a boat, Matthew Allen, MB Growl Tiger, and Tracy and Scott. Thank you so much, guys. And also a massive shout out to my lovely Patreons who are there behind the scenes when I need them for little chats and stuff. So thank you so much, guys. Anyway, that's it for this week. Please take care and I'll see you next time. <laughs>